Yep, they can't all be easy, but I'll settle for a few. Electrical problems can sometimes be very tricky. Uh, this one I had one hot wire coming in and then two other wires splitting off, so determining what's going where was tricky, but also had other Welcome hot back wires to Maintenance, inside where the I pole. show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. All right, welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, had this pretty crazy electrical problem. Had uh, what seemed to be an underground short. And luckily kind of identified which wire what the short was actually on. And uh, electrical situations can be pretty tricky. A lot of times, and some of you know this already, some of you maybe don't, but when you have uh, a, a short that's underground, you can't see it. Sometimes what you have to do is keep splitting the distance is disconnecting a certain section of, of wires. Um, this was on a, a bunch of lights, lighting, and uh, so um, at first I actually thought the the problem was right in next to the wiring because as uh, I pulled on the wires and adjusted them was able to reconnect it and not have it short out, not have it short the breaker. Um, but on further messing with it, we actually wound up trying to dig underneath the deal and get to it uh, and could not actually find it was buried so deep. Uh, it seemed like maybe it was six feet. We went maybe three feet down and uh, did not find the conduit uh, from the, the uh, light fixture. Anyway, uh, long story short, decided to try a different path, which was to disconnect the wires further down the chain. and good thing that we did because when we did that then we needed to reconnect the uh, original wire there and uh, uh, hooking that up it did not short out the breaker and the rest of the string of lights turned on and so by dividing it's kind of divide and conquer until you find your uh, wiring short so um, but when we needed to reconnect those wires, my friend had this pretty cool trick or pretty cool idea. We needed some way to mark it, and I didn't have anything with me. I didn't, have, you know, a different color wiring tape or something, a piece of tape, a piece of blue painter's tape, something like that can be a, a nice way to mark something so that you know that the the wire, uh, which wire was was the one that you'll need to re-disconnect later. Well, my friend had this kind of ingenious idea of the bottle cap, poke a hole through the bottle cap, and then pass that over that wire and that way we could reconnect it and we would know which wire was the wire that was you know giving us the fault or that it was that line uh, where the fault was so I thought that sh I'd share that with you and I figured well it's a good opportunity to talk about these types of electrical problems as well because you know just kind of sharing the journey with you and uh, actually I had uh, like a string of six out outside lights on now I was able to reduce it to one light. I actually have an idea further on troubleshooting it further, but that's another story. I don't know if it'll make it to video, but um, electrical uh, problems, they can be kind of tricky because there's a lot of stuff going on um, with different fixtures. Um, sometimes w what you think is uh, like, uh, like on this one or another one I was testing, uh, by testing for continuity from the hot to the neutral or hot to ground and was actually getting continuity. Well, there are certain lights that actually do have continuity, so they can be tricky. Again, a lot of times the way to do it is to divide and conquer, split off the wires. This one I was able to just split off the hot side and actually get it um, to where I've got one more string of lights uh, to test. And, and uh, so I only have uh, one uh, high up light and one like a tree light uh, out now instead of having you know seven lights out or eight lights whatever it was but whatever it is um, but uh, the journey continues and but I thought I'd share some of the leg of the journey with you and give you a few ideas you know if you're looking at so, uh, something you know always practice safety use a circuit alert device uh, you know don't work on circuits live you know turn the breakers off um, and you know know what you're dealing with you know don't touch anything if you don't know what you're doing you know you kind of got to know what you're dealing with and really practice safety and keep that forward you know use a circuit alert device it can save your life it helps alert you if there's actually current in in a situation because you can turn off one breaker and there may be other wires fed through the same uh, junction boxes or the same same uh, 
conduit. So uh, be aware of that. Anyway, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Hope you enjoy these types of videos. If you do, give it a like. It lets me know that you actually want to see more of this type of content. This was a little bit different type of content for me than what I normally share. Um, the electrical troubleshooting videos are actually very difficult to film, very difficult to edit, and so, you know, I don't share a whole lot of them. I've done ones where I was like, I was gonna share more information on it, but it just got, uh, you know, again, very difficult, intensive to, f to film and edit. So <laughs> anyway, thought I'd share this one with you today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. A quick search of my YouTube channel. You should find a bunch of different videos that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Also, there's links in the description below the videos to tools and parts used in the videos.